Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number four from the June 2015 International A-Level at Excel S1 Statistics 1 paper. Um, this question here is all about probability. So the first question here is telling us about a bag that contains 19 red beads and one blue bead. So there's only one blue bead and there's 19 red beads. So you've got 19 red beads and one blue bead that means in total there are 20 beads okay Linda selects a bead at random from the bag she notes its color and replaces the bead okay so that's a very important law she puts the bead back into the bag okay so that means one she takes another pick then she selects a second bead at random from the bag and notes its color find the probability that both beads selected are blue well there's one blue for the first pick oops what happened there for the first pick, okay, the first pick, there's one blue out of 20. Because she's put it back, there's also, for the second pick, one blue out of 20. So the total probability of both being blue, probability of a blue, and then a blue in this case, is going to be 1 over 400. Multiply the two probabilities together, 1 over 400. Then it says exactly one bead is selected is red okay so we're going to find the probability that exactly one of the beads is red okay so now she's picking two beads so exactly one of them has to be red so you're going to have probability of picking a red and then a blue plus the probability of picking a blue and then a red these two are the po possibilities here so the probability of picking a red is 19 out of 20 times and the probability of picking a blue is 1 out of 20 Okay, because you're putting the red back in the end anyway. Um, and this will be exactly the same. This will be plus 1 over 20 times 19 over 20. It's like the same as saying this times 2, basically. So what's going to happen here? You're going to have this cancelling with that. They'll give you 10. So you'll end up with 19 over 200. 19 over 200. So there's the answer to part B. All right. Then it says, in another bag, there are nine beads, four of which are green. So you have four greens, and the rest are yellow. So that's five yellows. Into, that means in total there are nine, as, as they told us. Right, Linda selects three beads from this bag at random without replacement. Okay, this time, she doesn't replace them. What she takes out, she doesn't put it back. So that changes now conditional probability. The next pick depends on what happened before. Okay, in the last uh, example, all the picks were independent of the previous pick. Now... It, the second pick depends what happened on the first pick. Find the probability that two of these beads are yellow and one is green. So we're going to find the probability of two yellows and one green. So it could be like two yellows and one green. Or it could be um, yellow. I, I'll put it on top of each other. Uh, yellow, um, green, yellow. Or it could be the probability of green, yellow, yellow. Two yellows and one green. Those are all the different ways of getting two yellows and one green. Okay, so let's see what the probability of one of these uh, outcomes is. And you'll notice that the other two outcomes will be exactly the same. Okay, the total probability will be the, exactly the same. So whatever I get for this one, I just have to multiply it by three. But I'll show you how that works in case you're not sure. So you got five yellows out of nine. So the probability of getting a yellow first is five out of nine. Okay, now the second pick, because she's not replacing them if she's picked a yellow there's four yellows left and there's eight beads left and for the third pick if she's picked another yellow there's well now you're thinking about greens you only picked yellows up to now greens there are um four greens so you're still gonna you're gonna have probably four but now there's only seven beads left four out of seven so five yellows out of nine then four yellows out of eight and then four greens out of seven all right. So what I have to do here is I have to take this answer and multiply it by three, and I'll get my probability. Okay, I'll get my probability. I need three. Basically, I need three times this, and I'll get the answer. Okay. If I do this, if I multiply this by three, I'll get my answer. Um, and I don't have to show you these. You don't have to show your work. If I do three times this, once you realize there's three different outcomes, which are all going to be basically the same value in the end, that's enough for you to get your to get the the answer. Right, but I'll just show you how that works. Why? I'll show you how it becomes exactly the same. 
of course, if you're going to have yellow, green, yellow, you're going to have 5 out of 9 times. Now for green, there's 4 greens out of 8. And then for yellow, again, there's still 4 yellows out of 7. So you can see you've got exactly the same numbers. And here, probability of a green, well, there's 4 greens out of 9. And then yellow, well, there's 5 yellows out of 8. And then for another yellow, well, there's four yellows now out of seven. So you notice you have four times five times four, and nine times eight times seven. All of them have nine times eight times seven, so the denominators are the same. And all the numerators are five times four squared. Five times four squared. Five times four squared. So basically, they give you the same answer. These three will give you the same answer. So if I just take one of them and multiply it by three, I'll get the answer. So I can just focus on this one. I don't have to worry about the others. So you have three times one of those outcomes. Once you realize there are three different outcomes which give you the same uh, you know, number or the same value, you can then continue like this. So let's now cancel out. The three can cancel out with the nine. Remember, this is like three over one, you see. That's going to become a three here. The uh, eight can cancel out with the four. That gives you one. That gives you two. Two cancels out with that four, gives you two. So you have with five times two, which is ten over... 3 times 7, which is 21. If you want to just make sure of that, you can do so by just using your calculator. You can have 5 3 times. You can have 5 over 9 times 4 over 8 times um, 4 over 7. Whoops, 4 over 7. Okay, 5 times 4 squared over 9 times 8 times 7, 3 of those, that gives you 10 over 21 as we found. So there's your answer to part C. Okay, so that's a quick way of doing it instead of having to write all of this out. All right, if you wrote all of it out, there's no problem. All right, so that's part C. Then it says for part D, Linda replaces those three beads and then selects another four at random without replacement. So she's put those three, backs, the three beads back. Now she's going to select another four beads without replacement find the probability that at least one of the beads is green okay so again we have this information here whoops what am i doing this information here okay so we have yeah we have here she replaces the three beads and selects another four at random without replacement to find the probability that at least one of these beads is green so basically what we can understand from this is at least one of them is green. At least one green. At least one green is basically all of the outcomes except for all yellows. So one minus the probability of four yellows. Okay, that means one of them is going to be green. All right, one of them is going to be green. At least one green means one green, or two greens, or three greens, or four greens. All right. So the only probability that doesn't um, include this can't be included is this one probability because you're going to have four yellows, and everything else is going to have at least one green. Either there's one green, or two greens, or three greens, or four greens. All of those are included anytime there's any green in. The only thing we need to exclude is this. So instead of going through all of those different combinations, all we have to do is take one, take the probability of all of them being yellow away from the total. The total is equal to one. So one minus one minus this will give you the probability of all of those. So that's what we're looking to do here. So let's find the probability of getting all yellows when you take the, the beads out without replacement. And that will be taken away from one will be the probability that we're looking for. So it's one minus. Now we're going to have five yellows out of nine beads then four yellows out of eight beads then three yellows out of seven beads and then two yellows out of six beads that's the probability of picking all five uh, all four yellows sorry okay so one minus that will be probability of having at least one green so that's going to be equal to one minus let's just cancel out what we can cancel out here you're going to have three cancel with the six that two and two cancel leaving you with one You'll have this cancels one with the eight, gives you a two. Anything else cancels here? No. So you're going to have one minus, you have five. These are all cancelled out. 
Okay, and this is 9 times 2, which is uh, 18 times 7. 18 times 7, that's going to be 18 times 7, 126. So you have 1 minus 5 over 126, which is going to be 121 over 126. Yes, yeah, so you do 1 minus 5 over 120. Whoops, 5 over 126 gives you 121 over 126. And there we have the answer to part D. That's the probability that at least one of the beads is green. So this is a pretty simple, kind of like an IG standard type of question for uh, probability from June 2015. I've answered this because one of the students has requested me to do so. But uh, yeah, it's not too difficult. So hopefully you understood that. Okay, a few shortcuts here. And um, yeah, so <coughs> I hope that was clear. Um, thank you for watching. Other videos from this particular paper can be found in the playlist over here other questions from s1 in general or probability can be found in this playlist and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching don't forget to click on the description to see links to other um, material that you might be interested in thank you for watching and see you soon